Hey guys, it's Dwight. How are you? Welcome back. It is Saturday, Saturday before Thanksgiving. So I thought I would do one more pour. I'm assuming one more pour before um, the festivities begin. I have family coming in town tomorrow, so I probably won't do any pouring next week. Um, but you never know. Um, my mom's coming, so maybe she wants to see me pour. I don't think she's seen me pour in person. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but then I'm heading out of town after that, so it'll be another week and a half or so before I do another video. So I thought I would do one today on a repurposed canvas. It's a 36 by 24 canvas, and I'm going to do a dump and swirl. Go figure. Um, I'm going to go for kind of like a darker palette today. I had this dream, and in this dream there were navies, um, like a dark red or cranberry, um, with pops of turquoise, and I'm going to use some citron green. So the colors I have today are some Liquitex um, Basics uh, Turquoise Blue. And I've got, of course, Deco Arts Americana Citron Green. I also have Deco Arts Americana um, Cranberry Wine. So that's the dark red that I'm going to be using. And that'll be in contrast with Arteza Scarlet Red. And I also then have Arteza Navy Blue. So now the trick in doing this is um, the order of the paints that I pour. Um, I know the very first one I put down is going to be sort of like the base coat and you probably see more of that color. So I was thinking about doing that actually in the red, the scarlet red. So that way all the other colors will be highlighted um, through the red. So you'll see maybe the navy blue come through, the turquoise, the citron and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. I may change my mind. I haven't mixed the paints yet, so we'll be getting started in a minute. So guys, um, stay tuned. Let me prep my canvas, get my paints going, and we'll see in a couple of seconds.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Wow. What do you think? I'm really in love with it. The color, let me turn around this way because this is the way I love the orientation. Just looks like there's so much movement coming in. And this bottom down here is really beautiful. It's almost like peacock pearls. I mean, the citron green and the blue um, and probably a little bit of the sort of the, the burgundy color. Yeah, look at that, look at that red, wow. I'm glad the red did show up because otherwise it probably would've been a little bit too dark for me. Um, it almost looks like there's a heart in the middle. What you can't see is kind of hard, the blue, the navy blue is right through here. Um, but let me walk around, just give you more details. Yeah, you know, I did, I did almost scrape it. <laughs> Such a dirty word nowadays. But yeah, look at that. I have to admit, you know, like in here, the, the cells aren't very symmetrical. Um, but like I told you before, I'm letting go. I'm looking at the composition and I'm looking at the overall piece. Um, and it's just beautiful, I think. Um, yeah. You get over here a little bit. So down here in this corner, you know, you have the red with the citron green, and it's you know, it's dark right in there. And I just love that those cells are just kind of popping in, and that's like about it. Look at that red. Yeah, <clears throat> I just hope it dries like this because I would be very happy to hang this on my wall. Um, it goes with, you know, the other ones that I've done. There's a monochromatic. Um, sorry about my light in the way, but the green one, the citron green, the red. This one's hard to see at this angle, but it's also very fascinating. So I'm very pleased, especially pouring over an older canvas. Um, I keep watching the cells in the middle to see if they get distorted. That usually tells me that the paints are pooling, but they're not. Um, what I like is that you have the movement in these here that sort of mimic these here. And um, there you have it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. We will see you after Thanksgiving. Have a safe, wonderful, yummy Thanksgiving with your friends and family, and um, take care. We'll see you soon.